Well, welcome over to Gardener's Cottage here in the North Norfolk coast at Blakeney. We're doing a turnover between lets and we're going to give you a little look around the garden here to show you what's coming on and how she's looking really at the peak of uh, high season, mid school holiday season here in Norfolk. Have some good weather and a mini heat wave expected to hit the UK this weekend back end of a storm that's blown across uh, North America but it's sucking some warm air up for us from uh, the Mediterranean and North Africa so it should get quite nice and warm here. Let's go and have a look see what we've got. Well we always like to show you some hollyhocks here in Norfolk. They're doing pretty well here this year, not setting as much seed as they traditionally have. Quite a few are flowering really well but they're then just not being pollinated and I think that's probably a sign of the lack of insects generally we've had with the wet weather earlier in the season we've just not got the butterflies all the bees all the other flying insects in the uh, normal numbers that we have here in the UK this year. We are getting a nice little uh, secondary flush out of these uh, herbaceous geraniums flowering really nicely they were given a bit of a chop back earlier in the season quite early these ones but uh, they've come back nicely and although the flush of flowers you get on the second uh, flush is nowhere near as dense as the primary flush it's good enough isn't it just look at that nice little sprinkling of color just a flush of valerian coming through and uh, this rather shortened version of the uh, yellow flowered tansy just picking up that flower color or oh, rather nice what we've still got to come on is goldenrod old man's beard very late here in this position for some reason i'm not quite sure why because it gets most of the uh, sun it's slightly overshadowed by this large rambling rector that's been cut back quite a lot this year got a lot of nice new growth coming through on that for the following season these will all be our flowering stems as they uh, just cascade down onto this driveway Let's go and have a look at some of these Japanese anemones because they really are looking fantastic now. Lovely large flower. Just look with my hand in there. Scale of these flowers. Nice full double, pale pastely mauvey pink. Bud formation on these is a sort of darker with that golden centre. There we go. Let's get it in focus for you. Really nice volume of flower coming on these as well. They're doing really well with the wet that they've had earlier in the season. Again in a dry rain shadow. Another lovely dark double one we've got here. This is one of my favourite ones we grow actually. A really slightly fuller double if anything with that lovely rosette of golden yellow sepals around the centre and then these beautiful mauvey pinky purple. I mean it's a combination of colours as it fades isn't it? It's no one single tone in that flower. That's part of the beauty of them. And then on the other side almost finished but we've got a lot of dead heading to do here. These are all finished flowers it was spectacular about a week and a half ago what a difference just the aspect can make I mean in the long view looking down the row still quite good but a lot of flower already finished on that and by deadheading these you can encourage a secondary flush in Japanese anemones particularly if uh, they flowered nice and early in the season so hopefully we can get these back into a secondary flush in about four or five weeks well the plants in this little new border that's just been planted up only been in about four or five weeks and already filling in nicely again they've done very well with the rain we've had here normally planting out young plants at this time of year in Norfolk is not a great idea unless you've got ability to water them almost daily but we've got away with it in this patch a nice combination a variety of uh, mainly self propagated and cultivated plants fever few some cat mints uh, what else have we got in here? Cicerinchiums, there's a day, quite a few daylilies that we've brought over, some crocosmia and uh, some iris going in here as well and this lovely autumn flowering daisy, just look at this, beautiful, lovely, full double, very fine little petals then with that golden yellowy tinge in the centre, absolutely gorgeous. Normally it would be a bit more self-supporting than this, it's flowering on very young growth but you can see it coming up there for good uh, stem. Hopefully in subsequent years with a little bit of support and uh, more plants of maturity around it should do very well here. Nice sunny spot in the afternoons. 